Mobile Mysteries, a show most of you are probably saying, never heard of it. But this was a great horror cartoon show that went completely under the radar. It's about a group of kids, Mo, Mimi, Hitch, and BB, who investigate the supernatural mysteries of their town of Ouija Falls. <laughs> what a great name. Think of Twilight Zone meets Eerie Indiana is the best way to describe this show. I highly recommend checking this out if you're into dark horror cartoon shows. And this show gets dark. Number 10, How Now Meowing Cow. During a school field trip, they take a quick pit stop at a farm. The gang discovers a field of abandoned buses, but the question is, what happened to the passengers? This episode is loosely inspired by Jurassic Park. Number 9, Soldier Soul 4. What? A teenage slacker named Rodney wants to ask Skill, his talented musician twin sister, Matilda who also happens to be their father's favorite child. Ooh, ouch. He winds up meeting street peddler and guitar blue expert, Blind Louie. And Roddy's willing to do anything, yes, anything, to play just as good as Blind Louie. Did Ronnie just sell his soul to the Crossroad Demon? Or is it all in his head? Number eight, don't touch that dial. An alien bug has come to Ouija Falls. If she lays her eggs, it's all over for the free world as we know it. It's all up to Mo and BB to stop the alien bug. Also, who is the mysterious man in black? Is he an ally or someone not to be trusted? Number seven, no sweet no. Personal items are disappearing throughout the neighborhood. The main culprits, the Garden Gnomes, who have broken out of their trap curse and now want to reverse the curse on the humans. It's all up to Mo and Hitch to save the people of Ouija Falls. Number 6, Pet Shop of No Return. Emil is a rotten kid who never takes care of his pets. Most of them have even died because of his careless nature. For that reason, Mimi got a mule banned from buying any more pets from any of the pet shops. Except Mr. Pong's exotic pet shop, who only sells directly to a mule. Who is Mr. Pong and what is his motive? Number 5. The Mole Village Project While performing a seance, Mimi is possessed by an evil spirit of a witch and it turns out she was killed during the town's historic witch trials. Martha the witch is out for revenge against the descendants of Caleb Moville. It will be up to Mo and Hitch to stop the witch and save Mimi. Number 4. Swarm in the Foyer Mr. Royal is the new exterminator who has come into town to take care of the recent plague of mosquitoes. But whatever town he previously worked at, mysteriously became a ghost town. The gang suspects that they may be dealing with a vampire. It's time to go vampire hunting or Ouija Falls will become a memory. Number 3. Something fishy in Lake Gimme Gimme Ishi Aoi. Mo and his dad head to Lake Gimme Gimme Ishi Aoi for some good old fishing. They get into a fierce competition with rich tycoon Big Wally over the legendary fish known as Old Whopper. However, it turns out this is no fish, but instead a terrifying leech monster, whose diet includes pesky fishermen. Number 2. The Good Old Days On Halloween, Mosley Moville somehow goes back in time to the good old days of Ouija Falls. Unfortunately, he'll have to deal with a pumpkin reaper who turns regular people into pumpkin heads. This episode is loosely inspired by The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Number 1. The Novelty Kid Norman is a little con artist who scams his fellow classmates out of their money. Sadly, he has no intentions of paying any of them back. 
Norman starts to make some side money from the strange and odd toy products of the Ace Novelty Company. When the time comes to pay the bill, the Ace Novelty Company is not one to avoid. Get ready for Dark Ending, which is why I absolutely love this show.